Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator uh, to construct a table for the linear law chapter. All right, because normally if you have the table like this, so they will give you x and y value in this chapter, and then they will ask you to construct a table for one over x and y square over x. So if you want to do that, right, if, if you do manually, normally you need to like do uh, one by one, for example, one over x, we need to do like one divided by 1.25, or yeah, and then we will need to do like, okay, then we got the first value 0 0.0.8, 0 .8, and then we will do something like or one divided by 1.43, and so on. It's going to take you some time because yeah, you kind of need to like do 12 of them. So there's a faster way on uh, straight away get all all this value by using the new function in this calculator which is a spreadsheet function so how we will do is like this um first thing is you need to know what you want for the new x axis and new y axis so obviously here they already tell you they want one over x and y square uh, over x so what we want to do right now is we go to the menu we go to number eight which is a spreadsheet all right, you should be able to see the word here or you can straight away type it and then enter it. All right, then over here, you can insert from one up to 45 data here, but we just need about six of them. So you can insert it quickly. So if I insert the A from A1 to A6 for my X values, then you should know our, yeah, this value will belong to A, this value will belong to B. And then this is sort like B1, uh, a1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. Yeah, you kind of need to know like which one you labor and then which data is for which one. All right, so, okay, let's do it. 1 1.25, 1.43, 2, 2.00, 2.5, 4.00, 5.00. And then after you can see a six here, so you you know you already insert all the six number here, and then this one is four point four seven, and then you enter, and then four point three eight, enter four point one eight, you enter three point eight seven, you enter, and then two point eight three, you enter, and then last one is two point two four. Okay, so after you insert both of the number already, so what you need to do right now is you need to go to the C. The column C here and then you tap the option here then you will need to go to the number one fill the formula all right then over here you need to tell the calculator you want to do the one over x and your x is basically a right so what I want to do right now is I will just do the one uh, divided by a then a will be alpha a here one and then over here the range you need to like from c1 all the way to the c6 because I want the calculator to do all this x value for me so yeah i will change the c1 all the way to c6 and I type enter then the calculator should be able to give me all the value i want then i can just copy it down in the two decimal place so like the first one will be 0 0.8 next one will be uh 0 0.70 yeah this one should be 80 and then next one will be uh 0 0.50 and the next one will be 0 0.40 and the next one will be 0 0.25 and then next one will be 0 0.2 all right yeah you can just like do one by one by yourself but then this calculator will just like do all for you so same ideas like i will go to the d1 so right now what i want to do is it's slightly more complicated i want to do something like y square over x because if you do manually going to take you some time here so i do the same thing go to the option fill the formula and then over here you just need to like insert your formula so right now you need to know uh y basically is your b so i want to do something like this is y square over a right means the calculator will understand like this is b square over a so yeah this is my formula my b will do alpha b and then i will square it and then divide it by a so i will just do alpha a but you need to uh, choose one of it. So I will, over here, I will just do the B1 square uh, divided by A1. And then, and then next, I will want to do something like from D1 all the way to the D6. All right, so when you choose the first, uh, first row, the calculator will do the other row for you. All right, so because you straight away 
do B square like just now, the calculator do not understand like uh, which data you want to select. All right, so normally I would just choose the B1 and A1 here, and then I tap enter, and then the calculator should be able to do all the value for me, uh, which is something like if two decimal will be 15.98, the next one will be uh, 13.42, 13.42 and then 8.74 and then 6.00 or you can say 5.99 because yeah, there's no way we can uh, route off this one because it's 0 followed by uh, 9 is followed by 0 alright then the last two number will be which is just nice 200 and 100 okay so yeah this is how easy we can get all this data especially when the uh, x axis or y axis the value go more complicated right because like y square over x if you do manually one by one going to like take you some time and you might worry is the is the data correct or not you can just like try it manually like four point if i do the fraction right 4.47 square and then over 1.25 okay this is what happened for y square over x right you tap enter yeah, you see, it's exactly the same value here. So, so you can trust the spreadsheet function very much because it will give you a very accurate answer. Like before I end this video, okay, let's try one more example which related to the log one because it's very common in linear law. You will see the log 10x and log 10y for your x exit and y exit. So, yeah, depend you want log 10 uh, x first or log 10 y, but I will recommend you start from the log 10x because it's x on the top right, y is at the bottom row, then only you do log 10y. And then you do the same thing here, you go to the menu, choose number 8, and then over here you just insert your data quickly, uh, 0. Point, oops, it's true. So it's wrong already, you just like cancel it, redo it 0 0.34, and then 0 0.43, and then 0 0.55, and then 0 0.85, and then 1.08, and then 1.42, Right after I insert all the data, normally I prefer to move to the first one and then because I can keep on use the enter key. Okay, 47.68, enter, 25.12, enter, 12.58, enter, 4.17, enter, and then 2.51, enter, and 1.38. Okay, so yeah, just trying to avoid the mistake when you type in the calculator. So normally after I type ready, I will just like, like check through all the X and Y value. Make sure I, I doesn't make any mistake when I typing that time. All right, if I make sure there's no problem ready, normally my habit is I will go to the C1 over here to start option key, fill the formula. All right, right now I want to lock my X value. My X value, the calculator understand is the A, doesn't it? and B will be my Y value. So what I want to do right now is, I would say the formula will be log 10. Yeah, this one is automatically log 10 really because you cannot choose the base. All right, so then I have to alpha A1. Okay, so because I want to select one number here. All right, then I tell my calculator I want to do from C1 all the way to the C6. Then I tap like this, I tap enter the calculator should be able to give me all the value I need. Then I just like copy it in two decimal place. The first one is negative 0 0.47, negative 0 0.37, and then negative 0 0.26, negative 0 0.07, and then the last two will be uh, 0 0.0.03 0 .03 and 0 0.15. All right, you can see the value is actually increasing, so you no need to worry, uh, you, are, you got mistake or what all right so then the next thing is i will do the same thing but right now is for y so i go to the option i go to the fill formula okay so right now i will just do log uh y will be b right so alpha b one okay you cannot do alpha b only you'll get math error all right then you need to tell the calculator you want to do from d1 all the way to the d6 isn't it then tap six like this and the calculator should be able to give me all this number i want copy in two decimal so I will round off like 1.68, 1.40. This one will be 1.10 and 0 0.62. And the last two will be um, 0 0.40 and then 0 0.14. All right, then only I will just like plot the graph myself. Yeah, normally 
you will be given a graph paper. You make sure this one is log 10x, and then this one will be log 10y, and then they will tell you like what is like what is the range here. So you just follow the range according to the centimeter given, and then you should be able to get a perfect graph there. Alright, so that's all for this video. I hope you at least you learned something from my video. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye